It sounds like you're wondering how to remove the header or navigation from a Squarespace page. I can help you with that. On this channel, I talk a lot about Squarespace, personal branding, and social media, as well as practical advice to look good online. If those topics interest you, I'd love to have you around here a little more often. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell to be notified when I post next. Now, let's dive right into that tutorial. So here I am on a website that I'm working on for one of my clients, and I'm going to show you both ways that you're able to accomplish this. Again, you might want to hide the header on one of your Squarespace pages because you're building a sales page or a landing page, and you don't necessarily want people to be clicking other pages on your site, but instead you want it to look more like this right, where they just have one strong call to action. In this example, I haven't built out the sales page. I'm just gonna show you how to do this quickly. So let's go to our control panel. I'm already um, clicked onto the pages here. The first way that I'm gonna show you is using CSS. So let's hop over to design, custom CSS, and of course, in the description of this video, I'm gonna paste the code that you need. All you're gonna to need to do is paste in your own collection ID, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and paste the uh, collection, uh, the line of code here. Now, I've already gone and sourced what this collection ID is, so that's why, look, it hid. Um, I'm gonna remove it for a second, and for those of you who don't know how to find the ID, I'm a big fan of a Squarespace, uh, or sorry, rather, a Google Chrome extension called Find Squarespace IDs. So literally, you just install it on Google Chrome, and it will show you the collection ID of each section of your page. So that's the first way, using um, CSS. So in order to pull that off, you have to know the collection ID. The other way to do this I'm also gonna paste this code down below, is by pasting in the code injection section of that specific page. So here I've labeled this page called sales page. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gear wheel and go to advanced. Here I'm gonna paste the code that we have that will tell this to be hidden, basically, okay? So it's style, header, display none, and then close the bracket. Once you click and refresh, boom, it's gone. This is my preferred way uh, because if I want to replicate another sales page, let's say I get this built out and I want to duplicate another one, I like that that code is really easy to just paste in the code injection, uh, paste rather in the code injection rather than have to filter through the, uh, the CSS on my website, which can be a lot if your site is uh, pretty developed. Again, you're not gonna need both tutorials or methods. In fact, avoid doing both. Just choose one, CSS or code injection, and it's pretty straightforward. The code for you to copy and paste is down below. If you choose CSS, I recommend identifying the section ID that you'll need by using the free Google extension called Squarespace ID Finder. I've linked to that down below as well. If you have any other lingering Squarespace questions, let me know in the comments below, and thanks so much for watching this. I'm gonna link through to some videos that I think you're gonna like next. I'm Phil Palin, those are coming up next.